All right, so I've got two concubinators now. And... How am I going to work this, though? Okay. First things first. You're getting picked up. Okay, you open out. He's pretty focused, though. Okay, cool. And just because I want to get this over with quick. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, it's got to be in water. Son of a... I forgot about that. I just wasted a prime dart on it. All right. Then... Let's just... Gone from... Can I pick up the gate? You... Don't do that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the tail swipe, it, uh, it's got some knockback. There we go. Right, so there's a Demorpedon over there. Okay, great. Okay, cool. I got that gate. There we go. Hi. Um, oh, yeah, no, you care about me. Okay. All right. I think it actually might need to be submerged, too, which makes it even worse. Well, I think we can guess why there's no beavers around here. You know what? Here. Let me. I'm stuck in the freaking sand again. There we go. Maybe like that will work. Leave enough of a gap that I, my Anka can get its head through. Now comes the really fun part, right? They're slow. I missed. On land. Not so much in the water. Hey, look at me. Tasty meat snack. Come and get it. Or apparently you just get distracted. Come on. Mm. Poppy again right in the face. Holy crap, it can damage the, the building in the water though. Or 
Or not. Uh, just that lunge attack, it looks like. I, it almost is like it lunged up through or over the top of the wall and dropped its happy butt inside. Oh no, it's on the other side. Oh yeah, see, that is a lot faster than I really wanted to deal with. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, we are... There is no semblance of any sort of control right now. Okay, it's on land again now. We are bleeding rather badly. It's got a... It got a taste to me, though. I may have messed up here. I forgot to pull the gates off before I got the thing to come after me. <laughs> All right, let's work back up here. See if we can keep it nice and slow now. Freaking bear over there on the shore just watched me, just, like, shaking his head. All right. Good news is we do, like, 4,500 Torpor per, per dart. Why are you so, like, hell-bent on attacking right there? Ow. And tail swipes, man. They're the worst. Aye, good lord. You stopped. Ow. Dang it. Let me get close enough. Thank you. Okay. Whoa. God. <laughs> I just got punted. Right. Let me get close enough, you jerk. Oh my god. Thank you. That's all I wanted to do. Hey, cool. I can bite it. Last one is trying to torpor run now, but he can't. Oh, it's, ah, dang it. Acid wore off. All right. Yeah, they're a fun little tame, aren't they? Well. Where is your... There we go. Whoa. Glitchy. There we go. Seven. And look how fast that food's draining with that Ben Trong hanging out in the area. That is a massive gap on the side, and he couldn't even get out of that. So, hey, little buddy, I have not like brought you out of your ball in so long.
8,400 health. Okay. 230% melee damage. And it lost 25 levels to speed, though. No oxygen stat, though. There is a hidden oxygen stat, though, which is a, is a shame, because that I think the hidden stat can still get points on wild creatures. So... Got that sinking feeling. Oh, well, it's halfway there. So... Go ahead, come up here. I need a campfire. I mean, I love the conch baiters. I mean, they're fast. They can attack fast. Everything like that. They're just too damn noisy. That, yeah. It's not a great, not a great thing. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to pick up this whole trap. I think I just destroyed. Yeah, I did. I clicked on the wrong thing. I destroyed a gate. Oops. Hey. 11,000 health. Wow, 578% melee now. Look at that weight, though, too. I mean, these guys are underwater juggernauts, is what they are. Uh, you know what? You can come here, too. And let's go ahead and get our shocking darts back into a rifle. That was a boy we just got, right? Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Because the one that I scouted out earlier... And everything is just cranky with me all of a sudden. Harvest, thank you. Uh, there's another one over here. There was. Um, yeah, right there. Level 130 male. Okay. And I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to let that go. All right. So. Yeah, 130 male. I know there was another one down by the whole fiasco with the Chronosaur. That area. Is that Bunyip? Oh, it just died. Yep. I saw it earlier and it had like 500 health from... It was attacking uh, Chunking's. And that's just not something you do if you want a long, healthy life. It won, but it drained it down from like 7,000 health to 500. Because it was hurting itself. All right. So, oh, hey, look, there's my other base. And the rain just stopped. Awesome. Hey, look at that. Max level female. Oh, and there's an Amel and a Tuka over here, too. You only take superior kibble to tame up, huh? So much good stuff right here.
Um, that triangular trap actually worked pretty good. Let's try to set that up again. And why am I getting piranha now? Um, I am too much. I am stuck in the water. Come here. Thank you. Ah. There's a freaking Alpha Raptor right there, too. <laughs> it's just like... Oh, uh, do I have anything on me that I would want to, like, level up, really? Oh, I'm starving, huh? Yeah, probably because I just got the crap beat out of me. All right, so lesson learned. Uh, I'm glitchy again for some reason. Freaking piranhas, man. Ah, jerks. I just ate a superior kibble. All right. All right, come here. Down. Ah. Uh. This stupid fish has stripped me almost completely naked. It killed me once. I just thank God I have a bed over here. And then wouldn't get back in the water. Good news is they drop Torpor extremely slowly. Hi. No. You? You come over here. You. You know what? Go aggressive. <laughs> All right, go back to neutral. Oh. I had prime blood sitting at my other house, though, thank God. Be able to make one. Prime shocking dart. And that finally took it out. I got up to like 30,500 at like 31,000 something. And then it refused to go back in the water. Just like you jerk. So 224, 224. Okay, great. They both were perfect teams. Uh, we're looking at 44 health. That's and 36 melee. Uh, 27 health. 38 melee. Okay, so I want the melee off the male. I want the weight off the male. That's, wow, almost double. Uh, 1729, 1387, but it's got almost twice as many points. All right. And it took all flipping night. I mean, it took so long. The Melanotuka went from over, you know, on. This beach here, it popped out over here. I mean, it went up and through the jungle, and now it's disappeared again. All right. Eh, it's just an iguana. There's the Melanotuka. Okay. Unfortunately, these gates don't let you rotate after you go to place them. 
what I should do is just learn the engrams finally for like the stone tier gates and finally, you know, and just go ahead and make some of those. All right. Um, how much torpor do you have? 24,600. You're coming in. Okay. Hey, you want to come in here? Okay, you, you want to stay in there? Wow, okay. Um, come on. Come on. You can probably slip right out, though, can't you? Oh. Well, I'm not going anywhere. You just ate that iguanodon. Why is your health low? I read Panda was kicking the crap out of this. I'm not, this is not a good plan. All right. Um, there we go. Are you seriously stuck in there? Nope, you got out. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to kill it if I kept up with it. It's still gaining Torpor, though. We should just... You know what? Actually, here, follow me. Right, okay. You are so much faster than me, it's kind of scary. Okay. I wonder. Okay, it's after me now, but that's okay. I can deal with this for a bit. I am going to pick up that and then that. And I am going to place this right about, say, here. Oh my, you stupid gate. Hey, where'd it go? Have I mentioned they can move fast? Because damn, it's just gone. Okay, it just did heal a bit off of that stego, and uh, what was that? Probably a nitrosaurus. I am also exhausted, and this thing has decided it doesn't really want much to do with me, it looks like. So, uh, I'm, wow, yeah, I really don't have a lot of food, do I? the hell is this thing? I bet it's full now.
Yeah, there it is. Okay. I wonder if I give you a little love bite. That does more torpor. Because I know it does more damage. I can make a nurse. Uh, it does look like it is doing more torpor too. Okay. I don't know what's up with this thing. I wonder if it's stamina, like something happened and it has no stamina now. Oh, well, that's, that's in a tree now. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Something happened to drain all of its stamina and it just can't recover it. And it's down. Sleeping like a baby now. You! Oh, how much you want to bet they hit the damn thing? Actually, I should be able to... 95.7% because of the damn bugs. Good night. <laughs> Why not? I'm right here. Uh -huh. did a pretty good amount of damage to it, too. But there we go. There is a monkey around here, too. I heard that. I'm not taming the monkey, though. Do not like the monkeys. All right. Um, eh, I'll take those. And man, its food is not dropping at all, is it? Ah, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, you. Oh, it ate once. Okay. Speed the process up. Look at Stinky out here. And look at the food drain. There it goes. Ate again. Yeah, popcorn scent is what the thing is with the benturongs. Makes wild animals nearby I lose hunger faster. Basically, it's, you know. Which is funny. Ventrongs are actually a real creature. Oh, wow. That's why they were angry. Because the thing passed out right on a dead raptor. Freaking bugs, I swear. All right. But uh, in Ventrong, are, they're real. You know, they're actual living creatures alive right now. And they actually smell like buttered popcorn. Like freshly popped popcorn. And since, you know, the smell of popcorn makes everybody hungry. Oh, there's another Colobo over there. I think I'm going to have to call my little taming expedition over there. I was only planning on getting one Risotus, but when I found out it only took seven kibble to do it. Oh, yep, bad Megalodon's dead. I was like, I have enough to tame another one. So I did. All right.
go ahead and get back to base though, I guess. All right. There's our male. And there's our female. And there's a sheep. Okay. So I also kicked out the parasaurs and set them to wandering already. Uh, it's my Europasaur. I'm like, what the hell is that goofy thing looking over the top? Uh, I definitely have to say I like the blue better than the orange. Uh, let's see. I did go ahead and get one saddle made up. And so we have left click is a bite. Right click doesn't look like it does anything on land. C is the, the tail whip attack. And X is like the, the rending, you know, bite that causes bleeds. And then there's a jump. Yes, it is a fish that can jump, which is amazing. I love that. The jump does have a bit of a cooldown. But I mean, it's... It's got a bit of a leap to it. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to leave these guys here. Uh... Here, give me your saddle back. Come over here. You can have that. And whenever I'm in the mood to punish myself with something again, I will go tame out or go out and tame some more Rizotas. They're not like the paranoia creatures. They don't spawn above max level. But I'll see if I can find, you know, a few more. Get a good variety of stats and see if I can get maybe a Rizotas army. Because I think that would be... Well, on the, uh, basically, when you go to make an army of aquatic creatures, it's really for one map, isn't it? It's for Genesis. That's it. The island is the only other map that really has extensive water that you could actually use an army in. And, yeah. There's no need. But, I mean, if I get a couple of them, you know, great stats, uh, mate boosted, and imprinted. Then I could uh, rather easily farm the ocean caves here on this map for uh, for drops. So, hey, look, you got a level. Cool. Look at you. These things have like no health, though, is the downside. I didn't show the coolest thing off about the chupacabra, though. Hey, thank you. You can either ride them or they can go on your shoulder. <laughs> I mean, how, how silly is that, right? They really have like a frog-like head, don't they? Kind of flat and wide. Oh, turtle's doing the thing again. But that combination means they're ideal for the uh, artifact of the Skylord cave. Are you... That's Pluto recovered. That's how long I was gone. Was long enough for, for all that. Okay, I am going to put that in there for you and put all this stuff here. All right, so 750 health. The stats don't really change once they recover. Wow, 274% melee, and that's with no levels. Not bad. But 750, 1288, off of one level. They, they gain enormous stat boost because it's the lore behind it is these things are basically bullied by other, every other carnivore in their size class on the island. So they're constantly starving. What they do is they come up to humans, you know, and beg for food pretty much. And, uh, if you can nurse them through their starvation, they are so thankful that basically you saved their life that uh, they pay even better attention to training and whatnot. And consequently, higher stat gains, like 626 stamina, 814. So that was almost 200 points in stamina right there. 274, 387. I think melee speed or movement speed is just one though. But, uh, there we go. What is that, like a total of five levels? 
And we took you from 750 health to 3,400. That's not bad. And that's why I don't mind getting low-level Dats Bloodosaurus, because very quickly, they, uh, they can really, you know, be the most powerful creature you have. Just do be careful with uh, Cryopodium. Because they can, um, they can start starving again. It, it can reset that buff there. But uh, let's see, the Despoto recovered buff. Despoto sort of recovered from its malnourishment. Its true strength can now be used. That's all it is. Just which, unfortunately, uh, yeah, let's put that off. Uh, yeah, it, it, since it's a uh, buff that happens, then. Cryopotting them, cryopotting them can sometimes put it back on. Bit of a shame there. The mod creator, though, uh, Shad, did post that they have found a new way of doing, like, the Dassies, the uh, Lake Man monsters, whatnot. Same problem, right? There's a buff you get when you tame it. Uh, to where the it shouldn't reset... And, you know, still be the same thing, but it shouldn't reset whenever you cryopod them. The downside is that any bred up, like Dassies or Lake Vans, it's, I think there's a couple other creatures too that have the same mechanic, uh, will cease to exist. Because right now they're actually a, technically a separate uh, creature. What the hell is a chicken fussing about now? Did you guys do something to the chicken? But, uh, so I'm not going to be breeding these guys yet. Uh, because, it, I mean, I could get great mutation lines, so on and so forth like that, and then the update comes out and everything's gone. So I'm just going to tame up a few so I can start doing that. All right. Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, I've got a lot of eggs to go through. And should probably start doing that. You ran out of wood again, didn't you? You did. Uh, pull. Wood. Uh, say. I don't know. 500 for now. There we go. And look at that axe, though. That is an amazing axe. Uh. Got this from killing an Alparaptor, and it's actually yeah, it's two percent lower than the one I have right now. Bit of a shame. Yeah, I was flying back. I saw an Alparaptor and hopped off, shotgunned it twice. It died. I like my shotgun. <laughs> Does five eighty eight on a headshot? So I mean, not bad. Uh, you need spark powder badly. Um, uh, right. Well, I'll just pull. At that, probably, you know, not all of it, like 100 from here. There we go. And oil. Might as well just go ahead and get it stocked up here. Uh, oil. Yeah, I've got, like, tell you what, you can have all the oil that my dung beetles have produced. But, uh, yeah, I've got, actually, let's take a peek at the eggs before I end this. I know I've got a lot. Uh, actually, not not tons. So if you want them to mate when you're not back at base, what you do is you hook them up to a hitching post and turn them to wandering. And whenever you do it that way, they never uh, hibernate, which is kind of handy, which is why I have like just an insane amount of eggs and I was coming back and there was just Tons of eggs. It's because they're hooked up to a hitching post. But hitching post and mating will still hibernate, but hitching post wandering, I don't think will. Not sure the exact mechanics behind it. Hey, guy. Finally caught up to you. All your, you know, all your friends have gotten levels. A little 202 micro raptor. Uh, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thanks for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, the sign signing out. Have fun.